Welcome to a short tutorial on developing class diagrams using Star UML from Adaptive Processes. Star UML is a free tool and hence anyone can use this tool to learn the concepts and uh, that's why we chose this tool for the demo purpose. Coming to Adaptive Processes, Adaptive is one of the world's leading requirements engineering solutions organization. It provides products, consulting and trainings in requirements engineering. Uh, it also is a partner to IIBA, International Institute of Business Analysis Canada, IREB, International Requirements Engineering Board Germany, Scrum Study USA and OpenRE Foundation. So now let's look at uh, Star UML and then see how we can model class diagrams using Star UML. The example that we would take is uh, for the defect management because we already have created the use case model and the state chart diagram for the defect management module. So let's look at uh, star UML. So let's uh, open star UML. So I'll just say evaluate, cancel, evaluate. So this is uh, the old diagram that I bought, uh, developed for uh, state chart diagram. So I'm going to develop now class model. So go to model, art diagram and class diagram. Once you do that, you can see that uh, the panel on the left side changes and this allows us to develop the class diagram. So we pull the class and put it here. So we are going to develop a class called defect. And once you create the class called defect, you can make it a little bigger because defect uh, is our primary interest. So here if you come, right click and you say add attribute. So this allows you to add different attributes for the defect. So the first attribute I'll add is um, ID, the defect ID. Then I would put description. Then I would put priority. Then I would put severity, then I would put assign to, then I would have fix, then I would have status. So I can add as many attributes as I can and uh, the aspect that can give you help in identifying these attributes is your UI diagram. So if you go to uh, detailed UI, one second, detailed user interface. So if you see here, whatever you see in your um, detailed UI, uh, that would basically be attributes for that. So for example, I have UI related to release, planned effort, planned start date, actual closer date. So these all will become attributes for you in the class model. So you can add more attributes as I said. And then similarly, you can add operations which is basically what all can happen on the defect management module so obviously we can add defects we can update defects we can view defects we can import defects and we can export defects so this is how we can add our attributes and operations and then for a defect, you may also have a history stored. So it's up to you whether you want to store the history or not. In case you would like to store the history. So what we would do is we'll create another class, which is defect history. And I would of course add all the attributes similar to what we did, except that in defect history, I would have only one operation which is add defect history because uh, we cannot uh, update uh, um, sorry operation so i'll just have only one operation which is add and i would have another operation which is view because in the history you cannot uh, possibly modify uh, the history because you are not supposed to modify the history okay and between these two, there is actually a composition relationship. That means, uh, one second, let me just pull this from here to here. So if you see here, a defect history can exist 
only if a defect exists. That's why I have used the uh, composition uh, uh, relationship. And then the defect also can be linked to your project allocations module because as we saw, uh, a defect can be assigned to um, a person who is part of the project. So in project allocations, we would have attributes like um, allocation ID. Then we would have resource name or employee name. We will have employee or username. I think let me put it as username. And I would of course have allocation start date, allocation start date and allocation end date. I could have uh, many more attributes as I wish, whatever I would like to capture as part of it. And of course, I would have my own methods as well. So the methods could be to add, the method could be to modify all this modify allocation. This could be add allocation. Similarly, I can create. Now between this two, if you look at it, there is a relationship. So I'm going to associate defect class with allocations class and uh, this is bi-directional. So if you click on this, um, you can put it as m is to n, m dot n, uh, which indicates that there are many defects which can use same allocation and one allocation can be there for many defects. And this is how we can continue to build our um, uh, class model. And of course, we can uh, copy this and uh, save it. So I'll just save as uh, requirements class diagram. Of course, I'll call it as defect class diagram 2. No, no, sorry, I would export this diagram, file, save as, one second, requirements, class diagrams, so I'll call it as defects, new, and save it. And of course, I can export it uh, to diagram as well, export diagram as PNG, so I'll just call it as defects, new. I think I made a mistake. Uh, file, export, uh, uh, export diagram as PNG. So I'll just call it as defects new. Defects new. Save. Okay. And now it is available for us to put it into our requirements document, uh, which is where I would have put it. Like if I come back to class diagram, uh, do I have it here? Yes class diagram. So I have put uh, an old one. So we can change it or modify it as we develop. Here of course I have used another uh, class called user defined values because so for example status would be an user defined value. Priority would be an user defined value or a lookup as we tell. Thank you for uh, going through this short tutorial on class diagram. Uh, you can uh, read more about this uh, on our website www.adaptiveprocesses.com or you can send us an email as well info at adaptiveprocesses.com. You also can uh, follow us on our YouTube channel. So please type adaptive processes in YouTube channel and you'll get plenty of videos uh, created for requirements engineers and business analysts. Thank you. Bye-bye.